the question of the day is why do people keep messing with Mrs. Kellen J. Roland Weatherspoon? For years of her life, Kelly went through feeling like she's not enough. The elephant in the room for me has always been second best. Wow. Having low confidence. I was still nervous, you know right. what I mean? And even up until 27, 28 years right. old, and my best friend was like, you know what, this is your time. Like, yeah. you have to walk into what is yours and not be afraid of that. And even being insecure about her skin. Yes, that same chocolate skin that we all love. I had a little boo friend. Actually, his grandmother compared me to the color of a paper bag and said that I was too chocolate and too dark chocolate for him and he couldn't date me. It affected me in a way where I was just always uncertain of how I looked. It started to define what beauty was to me. What triggered this whole topic is from a viral clip where Kelly Rowland is at the Cannes Film Festival in France and she was basically harassed by security when they were seen rushing her off the carpet. In her attempt to get Kelly moving, security even stepped on Kelly's dress. Kelly said, don't talk to me like that. You can see she said it in a passive aggressive way and was ready to move on. It seemed like the lady responded in a slick way and Kelly just let it all out. She repeatedly told her, don't talk to me like that. She also said, you are not my mother, I am not a child. Since then, her publicist Yvette posted a picture of Kelly on the carpet as well as Heidi Klum just to show the stark contrast between the way they were treated, leading many to believe that race is a factor in Kelly's treatment. Even Miss Tina Knowles posted a video of Kelly from the next day and captioned it. And just like that, she, Kelly Rowland, graces another carpet with her amazing glorious beauty, class and grace, sipping champagne and living her best life. This just goes to show that one silly monkey don't stop no show. On to bigger and better things. She went in. On this same day, Kelly was asked about the incident and here's what she said. The, the woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And um, I have a boundary. And I stand by those boundaries. And that is it. And there were other women that attended that carpet who did not quite look like me. And they didn't get there, scolded or pushed off or told to get off. And um, I stood my ground. And she felt like she had to stand hers, but I stood my ground. It's so heartbreaking to see Kelly holding back tears because she seems like such a genuinely nice, sweet person. And that's why when most people saw the clip, they instantly sided with Kelly because we know she's unproblematic. But some people had other things to say like, what's wrong with Kelly lately? Or she wants diva treatment like she's Beyonce. So apart from Kelly going through things because of her skin, she also has to endure the endless Beyonce comparisons. While Kelly snagged movie roles and recorded her own CD. But neither has soared quite like Beyonce. I don't think they're ever going to be superstars like Beyonce, but they're going to have solid careers in the music business. And Beyonce questions too. No matter what Kelly is promoting for herself, people always find a way to squeeze Beyonce into the convo. And that's why Kelly went through years of having little confidence in herself. She even made a song about it, Cue Dirty Laundry. But then we saw a little shift. Talking about new music, you know, all the talk this week has been about Beyonce's new album. Have you heard it yet? Have you had an opportunity to give some thoughts on the whole thing? I sure have. It's great. It's absolutely great. Really different though, right? Yes, really different. Is that... But getting back to what I'm here to talk about, yeah. Claritin, um, I'm very <laughs> excited to be teaming up with Claritin. And people said she shaded Beyonce at the time. They were so accustomed to her not standing up for herself, they called it shade when it wasn't. But it wasn't until recently that we saw the biggest shift. Beyonce, she's like your sister. You of guys course. literally grew up together. She's stepping into country. So proud of were, her. I know, but were you surprised and what do you think about it? I'm so proud of her. Yeah. I'm so happy for her. Looks like Roland wants to change the subject and talk about her new Netflix movie, Maya Culpa. Some say hearing this tease pushed her over the edge. We're going to chat about that. We're going to chat about her music career and what she thinks 
about Beyonce going country. Uh oh, she immediately scowls, then mouths the word no. My sister's dropped a whole new uh, couple of songs, and it's my understanding that Renaissance 2 may or may not be um, country based. Renaissance 3 may be either rock based or a DC reunion. That is her business to talk about. <laughs> Damn it, woman. More and more we saw Kelly stand her ground when it came to questions about Beyonce. And instead of downplaying herself... And also having somebody that's that close to you that's that good. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's how we grew Naturally, up. but also work ethic. Driven yes. and work ethic. That yes. has to... Yes. I mean, you're driven too, but I'm just yes. saying... It, no, no. That hers energy... Is no, hers is, no, hers is different. It's I mean, different, right? It's, it's different. It's like another whole beast. She started uplifting herself as well. Light attracts light. Mm. I am light. Mm. Mm. So I am a beautiful brown shining light. So I don't think anybody's light dims anyone else's. Mm. I think that when other people start to compare you, I think that that's when it shows how dim they are of themselves. Slay! Slay! And she definitely stood up for herself at Ken as she should. I I'm not no child. Don't talk to me like that, bitch. The f when I look at Kelly, I can see wherein she's the best version of herself now, the most confident, and she seems happy with where she's at in life. And I would be sad if some random security in France allowed her to go back to the Kelly that didn't really have much of a backbone. Hopefully, she'll sweep it under the rug and move on. I'm hoping she can feel how much she's loved and appreciated. If you could leave Kelly a message, what would it say? Let me know. Also, let me know what you think of this video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.